गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस आई एम मैट गुड संजय आर्य फ्रॉम द लैक्सेस कंपनी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एन सी एल टी हैदराबाद इन वॉक्स रूल वन टी थ्री द नेशनल लॉ कंपनी टर्बिन हैदराबाद बैंक कंपेरिज वो डॉक्टर वनकटे राम कृष्ण बद्रीनाथ नंदुला डॉक्टर बिंदु कुमार सैनी will adjudicate a petition file a state bank of india resources india power corporation limited invoked its power under a rule 153 of nclt rules and permitted the final creditor of its file is rejoinder where after the appointed to do so stood closed by the early order of nclt the bank further held that an application to condone the delay condone of delay and the receiving the rejoinder which was a file posted closure of opportunity is not in the future of the review application the best it is a such application as the application for the condonation of delay the background facts the state bank of india financial credit to find a petition under a section 7 of insolvency and the bankrupt credit court seek a initiate of corporation insolvency resolution process against the power corporation limit after the corporation debit filed it reply the adjudication authority granted two week time to financial credit and filing the rejoinder otherwise the right would stand closed the financial creditor filed the rejoinder on corporation debit to reject to rejoinder being taken on record field content that no application for the condonation delay was filed along with rejoinder The financial credit file an application under a Rule 11 of NCLT Act Rule 216 before the adjudicating authority seek a condonation of delay in filing of rejoinder. The corporate debtor opposed the application while submitting the such application would be nature of review of the order dated so and so and adjudicating authority not empowered to review the issue. whether the application to condonation the delay and to receive the rejoinder file posted closure of opportunity is in the nature of review application as a such not be maintainable if not whether the application cannot be considered under the other application applicable provision of law or rules and city verdict <coughs> the bench held that the application for condonation of delay after the right to file rejoinder stood close it is is not in the nature of review of the entire order of tribunal the bench relied on rule 153 of nclt rule 216 and observed that the rule empowered the nclt to extend the period in its discretion in a cases where a period fixed under the rule granted by the nclt or any act of filing any documents representation may have expressed further we would like to point out here with that we are not dealing with a case where a time for the doing an act has been prescribed under the provision of limitation act which cannot be extended either under the rule 11 and 153 of nclt rule we are dealing with a case where a time is fixed or granted by the tribunal for performing of an act namely filing or rejoinder by the applicant under i and b code and nclt rules the ban decided to treat the application and the application for the condonation of delay it was open and to under the section 5 of limitation act the burns is on the application to certify court on the being is sufficient cause for condonation of delay whereas the under the rule 153 and ncilt rules and joining a duty on the tribunal alone the examine whether in the interest of justice time extension should be given for the doing the act and fix the time for which has expired the bench held that the application can be allowed by the enlarging the time has be expired for the filing the rejoinder the application was allowed to file the creditor has be granted seven day time to filing his briefing additional pending upon the failure to which the liability shall extend <laughs> upon a failure of which the liability shall be stand revoked automatically nonetheless the fact that we are not pleading in a main petition but from the part of the rejoinder will not be considered thank you i hope you like all everyone like and subscribe